make some opening thoughts? Well, I thought we fought really hard tonight. Uh, I thought we, you know, both teams played really good defense. I know it wasn't, you know, offensively it probably wasn't, you know, too pretty to watch, but I thought it was more a product of, of teams that were playing really hard. Physical defense. Um, I was pleased that we held them to, you know, 34% from the field. And, uh, I was happy that we were plus 10 on the glass. I thought those are great numbers for us defensively. Offensively, we struggled. We turned it over too much. We didn't make we didn't make very many shots, and that's a tough that's a tough recipe offensively. But hard fought game, and uh, you know now we just gotta continue to work. You mentioned that uh, you, know, you guys struggled offensively. Did did it feel like you guys didn't have a certain area that you wanted to attack, or did you feel like you when you found it you sort of went away as far as uh, rolling in the second half? It seemed like that was gonna be a, an area where you guys might go. No, I mean, we, we, we attacked well. I thought we got in the paint. I thought we got to the free throw line. Uh, I thought we threw it inside a little bit. We just didn't shoot well. And, um, and we were sloppy. With the, the ball handling was, was sloppy. That's, that's been a, a little bit of a continuous problem for us. So the turnovers have been, have been an issue. So, um, you know, I, I don't think it was as much, you know, not getting done what we were trying to get done as um, just not shooting well, not taking care of the ball. And, and, and Penn's, uh, I thought Penn's defense was really good. So, I mean, sometimes... You get so focused on, you know, the, our offensive struggles, and sometimes you just have to, re you know, you just have to look across the way. And those guys were really guarding, and they were in great position, and, and they do a nice job uh, t with good team defense. Coach, uh, you know, last year was certainly a struggle for you in a new system. Now, Biggins had, had it's been a lot better, I guess, than you thought it would be. You won. I guess they say a little bit more games, I think, than you did around this time of year. You won, it, won on a two-game winning streak. And just when it seemed like, uh, you know, you were about to struggle, you really came back. And again, like you said in the opening statement, you did uh, fight on. Do you expect more battles like this? And can we expect more victories uh, for kids like uh, Bacon, for the kids that are on this team? I, I think so. I think that um, if we defend and rebound the way we did tonight, we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. And on the nights when we play better offensively, we're going to have a good chance to win games. Um, but the defense and the rebounding has to be a constant, and it was there tonight. So that, that was the thing that I was uh, most pleased with. Have you been uh, uh, happy? in your new role here at the Binghamton? It's been great. It's been great. You know, we're building a program. We're doing it the right way. Uh, we, we, have some, we have some good pieces. We have some good pieces coming in. Uh, you know, the kids are fighting for me. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. Well, what's your take on tonight? You know, sort of the homecoming for you. Maybe not ended the way you uh, had hoped, but what was your take on tonight's game? Uh, I just felt like well, we did a great job defensively. Uh, I think we need to get back to practice on get better on offense and uh, along the road when we get like in closer games like this that we can come out on top. That's all. What the, uh, was there anything particular that jumped out at you offensively that you feel like you guys need to clean up with you guys um, that cost you guys maybe points and maybe being able to make it even closer in the second half? Just um, communication, like I said. Uh, I just think that we need to go on practice, work over some things, just brush up on some of our offensive keys. I just think that uh, even myself took a couple bad shots, you know, bad shot selection and ball handling, that's all. When you first, uh, I guess, stepped on the floor, I know I spoke to you earlier before the game, but when you first stepped on the floor tonight, uh, what was your initial reaction? I mean, it's the Palestra, it's probably the greatest place you're probably ever going to play in the world. What was your thought on that? Well, uh, it just felt good to be home. That's all I, that's all I thought. Um, I just wanted to go out there and give my, my best shot for my, for my team to win. Coach, can you talk a little bit about, uh, you, didn't, you guys didn't work the ball into the paint to your bigger guys that much. Most of your shots came from your guards, um, Jordan and Rayner. Can you talk about maybe why you guys didn't think to push the ball into the paint a little bit? Well, we had a little bit of foul trouble. Uh, our, our Roland Brown is our, you know, our best inside threat. Um, spent a lot of the night on the bench uh, with foul trouble. But, you know, points in the paint, we won 24-20. So I, I think we got it in there. Um, you know, I think we got in there a little bit, um, but I thought Penn did a really good. Penn is physical. Um, they're, they're, you know, Doherty is, is physical, and um, you know Brooks is a good post defender, and, and those guys. I thought those guys were doing a good job at forcing us, you know, forcing us our big guys just a little bit out of their comfort zone. Um, and, and, and right now we're guard oriented team, to be honest with you. So um, we were, you know, we were we were trying to um, we were trying to get some 
some things going on the perimeter, um, trying to create some offense on the perimeter. And, you know, again, we're, we're, we're a total work in progress, to be honest, and we just got to uh, continue to find that balance. But the, some of the big numbers, the points in the paint we won, the rebounds we won, we, you know, our field goal percentage defense was excellent. And, you know, those, are, those are the things that we need to stay focused on, the positives. We have, we're building a program, and, and we can come and, you know, we can be, you know, every night we could be, you know, find all the flaws. But um, we, we really need to focus on things that we're doing well to give it a chance to win. I thought we did some of those things tonight, so that was that was good. You would be comfortable with that building a program. I mean, it's a difficult position for freshmen, but it seems like you're one of the more important parts of this. Uh, well, it's uh, been a struggle, you know, coming from high school, you know, winning a lot of games, you know, to uh, you know, rebuild the state. But uh, I'm pretty sure things will get better. As time we go, as time go on, uh, we'll get more wins and be more exciting. You take pride in, in being part of it. Uh, yes, of course. Work hard every day so I can be part of it. So. Coach, you saw Penn last year when mm -hmm. you were coaching Ryder. Um, mm -hmm. Penn is lost last year to graduate class. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you guys have improved on last year? Yeah, just um, they were they they had a more of a you know they had their their identity was. They had their identity figured out a little bit better last year by this time. But now with so many new pieces and it being so early in the season, I think, um, you know, Jerome's, Jerome's got to be patient with them, and I'm sure that he is. And, and I think that even, the, you know, the, the, the fan base, and they, they need to be patient. Jerome's a great coach, and um, their young guys are good. They're talented. They're just trying to – they need time spent together. And I say that about my team a lot. Um, you know, my team, we're all freshmen in a lot of ways because it's, you know, our whole system offensively and defensively new to everybody on the team. So – um, patience is important because, you know, as, as, as we spend more time together, we'll get better. As Penn's kids spend more time together, they'll get better. They just have a little bit of a leg up right now because they have some guys that have already been in the system and, and, and Cartwright and Dockery are, you know, good players that know the system. Um, but but I, I, I like what I see from the way they compete. I think they're athletic. Um, and, you know, for their league, they're going to be fast. And they have some nice pieces that once they – you know, a month from now, they'll be a bit, much different team. Coach, you, you talked about trying to get some things done with the perimeter, trying to create some offense. Uh, a night like tonight, obviously, I know Taylor hasn't played in a couple of games, but do you feel like he needs to take more shots than what he has tonight? I mean, he's, you know, he's out there 30 minutes, and I think three shots at all he got out from the night where they were kind of packing him inside, you know? And yeah, I don't think they were packing you in off of him, no. I, I think they were pressed out on him. I mean, his. You know, his three-point shooting percentage is in the 60s going into the game. So anybody who's looking at that on a stat sheet is saying, okay, we can't let 22 get shots. And, you know, Taylor's not a creator right now. So he needs guys to create shots for him. Um, so if they're, you know, if, if going into a game, you know, they're, they're going to, right now, part of the game plan, you know, for our opponent is going to be make sure that there's no open looks for 22. And I think that that was more, uh, more the reason that he didn't get a lot of shots. Anything else? Uh, Coach, uh, you know, next couple weeks are probably going to be tough. I know one of the games includes Michigan, but I, at first it starts with Monmouth. That's this Saturday. Monday. We have Mount Saint Mary's Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Monmouth Monday. Mount Saint Mary's this Saturday, and then Monmouth on Monday. So two games in three days. Again, I know it's certainly a great game, and you still feel like you, you'll be able to compete. I mean. What will you need to do to prepare for this Saturday? Well, we just, we're playing along every day. You know, we're, we're, we're staying consistent with how we practice. You know, we're, we're working on the same things every day, the things that I know, um, you know, over time that if we get good at, we'll give ourselves a chance to win. And, you know, we have two home, game, home games coming up, so that's exciting. And, and, and hopefully we'll um, try to get on the winning side again on Saturday. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you.